Keith Abel here shooting another quick blog post. Today I just want to catch up a little bit with you guys. I can't believe I haven't posted anything since April. I think that's the longest I've ever gone without doing a, a blog. So just wanted to kind of catch up on things and, and let you know what's, what's going on. You know, it's, it's been really busy. Uh, you know, April and May, I spent a lot of time doing some in, very intensive training. And then uh, June, we uh, took a nice vacation with the family as well as uh, took a, a, a business trip. Uh, so in, in the month of June, I was actually on both coasts. I was in uh, uh, Florida, uh, spent some time on the ocean there, and then took a trip uh, later in June out to California to see my son and to uh, do a little bit of business. Anyway, as I was driving back from Monterey in California back to Reno uh, you know, just a few weeks ago, I uh, kept thinking about the law of attraction and what role it's played in you know, the things I've done in my life. Um, You know, I've shared with you in the past what my feelings are about the law of attraction and uh, what it's done for me uh, in, in past times. And so, you know, I, I was thinking about that a whole lot because of different circumstances that happened while I was uh, out in California. Uh, you know, I've shared with you guys before that I'm a Christian. And so for me, the law of attraction is very biblically, biblically based. Uh, you know, I believe that God is the universal force. You know, I, I'm not going to get all theological on this discussion today, so, you know, you can put your defenses down. I just wanted to give you guys a, just a brief background uh, about my perspective on that. Anyway, I went out to California for two reasons. First of all, I wanted to spend some time with my son. He's stationed out there in, in the Navy uh, doing some training. And we haven't been able to see him, actually, since he left uh, basic training uh, back in January. So he hasn't seen anybody in the family since then, and since I had the opportunity to be near where he was, I went ahead and uh, decided to spend some time with him. I uh, actually was able to spend three days with him while we were out there. Um, you know, before I left for the trip, well, let's back up a little bit. You know, I said there was two reasons why I went to California. One was to, to see him, and the other one was I wanted to uh, uh, meet with Dr. Corey Gold. Uh, you know, my plans were to spend a couple of days with him while I was in California. But, um, you know, before I left for the trip, some things happened uh, that uh, prevented that from, from uh, coming to fruition. Uh, you know, so I, I didn't uh, get to spend the time with Dr. Gold I had planned on. But it didn't stop me from, uh, you know, going ahead and making the plans and uh, going ahead and uh, just seeing where things took me when I went out there. Anyway, a few years ago... I was a guest on KSTL Radio, uh, did a little uh, show on there where they were talking about uh, uh, cholesterol and statin drugs, and I was the, the guest on the show for about an hour where I talked about that. Um, so, you know, I knew that uh, KSTL Radio was uh, based out of Santa Cruz, California, which is really close to where my son is stationed. So I decided to, you know, while I'm out there, I'm going to take a drive over to Santa Cruz and, you know, meet uh, Michael Zwarling, the station owner, and just have a little bit of time to get to know him a little bit. Uh, so just to show you how the law of attraction works, you know, the plan was just to go over there and just meet him for just a few minutes. We ended up sitting there uh, for about two hours. Uh, you know, we talked about, uh, you know, uh, the radio business, of course, since that's what he's in. But we also talked about the home-based business industry and how it was that he was able to uh, build his home-based business to where it actually supports the radio station and supports everything he does with the radio. Uh, and, and again, just to show you how the law of attraction works, uh, while I was at the radio station, I had the opportunity to meet uh, pharmacist Ben Fuchs. Uh, some of you may know him. He's a nationally syndicated uh, talk show host. He has a, a wellness uh, radio program that he does, and it, it's based out of the KSCO uh, affiliates. But uh, what was interesting about this is he, he's actually from Colorado. So, you know, what's the chances of, of him being in town at the same time that I'm there? Uh, so anyway, he was in town to do some type of... Uh, uh, seminar 
and he invited me to come along to the seminar and see what it was he had to say and just see what the seminar was and to, to introduce me to a few other people there. And so, you know, sure, you know, like I said, the law of attraction, I knew that there was something that uh, was going to come of the trip. Uh, you know, meeting Michael led to meeting Farmers has Ben. Farmers has Ben now uh, led me to uh, a seminar where there were several other uh, people in the business that I had a chance to meet. Uh, and what was really interesting about that is while I was at that seminar, I met several other folks that I'd talked to in the past uh, by phone or uh, on conferences and I found out that they were fans of mine and had been following my blog and actually attended most of the uh, teleseminars that I had done in the past uh, and the webinars that I'd done in the past. So, you know, it, it, these folks were really excited to have a chance to meet me, and that was really a humbling experience. You know, I've never experienced anything like that. Uh, so, also at this event, I met a couple named Phyllis and Andy Anderson. Uh, never heard, heard of them before, before this, uh, this event. But as it turned out, they're also top income earners in this home business industry. Uh, they, they've made multi-million dollars uh, of income over the years uh, doing the business. So, you know, I, I got to, to meet them uh, at this event with uh, Farmers Has Been, and one thing led to another uh, as, we, as we're all sitting around talking, and they, they invited me and my son to come to dinner with them that night. Uh, you know, of course, again, I'm, I'm letting everything fall into place and just letting the law of attraction to work so you know we went ahead and went to dinner with them and you know dinner ended up turning into a two to three hour uh, time of just sharing and just conversation and and they talked to me all about how they got their business started and the things that they did to grow their income from the, the humble beginnings to their multi-million dollar uh, uh, income that they've had over the years so I guess my whole point in all this is I just, I just want to really stress what the role of the law of attraction plays in our lives. Um, you know, I just wanted to share with you some of the things that I've learned from, you know, the Andersons and from other people. And, you know, one of the things that they talked about quite a bit was the, what, the, uh, uh, what role the law of attraction played in their own lives. So anyway, over the next few uh, posts, I'm going to share a little bit more with you about the things I learned. I'm going to share a little bit more with you about the law of attraction and just want to help you get a better understanding of, of, of the law, okay? And what I suggest that you do just to uh, lay some groundwork on the law of attraction is to go to YouTube and search for the movie The Secret. You want to make sure you search for the full movie. Uh, so you want to watch the secret. Um, it's you know I'm going to warn you guys if you if you have Christian sensibilities, this movie is very new agey. Okay, so just you know just want to warn you up ahead of time. Uh, I just in the past I've written about that. I've written about the movie The Secret. So you want to go back and look at some of my old blogs, and I'll talk to you in those old blogs about the, the parallels between what they're talking about in the secret and the biblical principles that attracted me to to the law of attraction so anyway once you go back and watch that video search for it watch that video and then stay tuned for my next post and, and we're going to talk again uh, about this and some other things uh, all related to the law of attraction so as the late Jim Rome always says remember the same wind blows on all of us it's the set of the sails that decides your course so set your sails for success today by learning the skills for success you know, if, if you'd like some personal help on this or any of the other topics I've talked about on my blogs, then then uh, reach out to me. Uh, please visit my website, aimhighwithkeith.com, A-I-M-H-I-G-H-W-I-T-H-K-E-I-T-H.com. Uh, take a look at all of my, my past posts, uh, especially look for the one on the Law of Attraction. Um, and then... You know, if you have any questions or anything, reach out to me through the contact forms on that page. Anyway, if you find value in this post and find value in some of the other things on my website, be sure to share those with your friends and family as well.